You better call the cops and give them warning. Sound a siren, bang the bell. A mean marine rolls in this morning on his way to raise some hell. No sweeping us out or keeping us quiet. Try it. The Golden Gate across the water. See us coming. Hit the dirt. Lock your door and hide your daughter. Wouldn't want her getting hurt. Going all in, throwing a dope light. Big night. The party's on, we got till dawn. We'll be having some kind of time. Some kind of time. Living in large. Making noise because the boys are now in charge. Some kind of time. Cut all our strings, we'll be kings for an evening. Gonna be having some kind of time. And that's uh, a, clip a clip of the opening number of, the opening of our number. musical dog fight. It's called Some Kind of Time. We hope you're, you'll have one if you come see the show. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in that song, uh, we pick up uh, with this group of Marines that are coming into San Francisco for one night, their last night. It first focuses on the three V's, which is Boland, Bernstein, and Birdlace. And they, um, they're like these best friends that are coming in for their last night. They're about to throw a dog fight. They're determined to have a great time. And it's sort of like our take a little bit on, like, like it's the, the sort of inverse of on the town. Like, they're going to have this amazing night, but it's what they're doing is not just like, you know, going around New York from, you know, the, seeing the sights. Yeah, the Bronx is up and the battery's down. It's not that. It's like they're going to go do this thing where they're each, you know, putting in money to see who can find the ugliest girl to bring to a date party. So that's sort of the, the twist of that sort of rousing opening number. And, and they're about to go, like, to this sort of very scary, like, real thing going to war. So it's kind of like this last chance to get it all out and to squeeze it all in before they go off. The idea for this musical sort of actually came from our collaborator, from Peter Duchan, who's the book writer. Um, Peter and I went to elementary, middle, and high school together. And then Benj and I met in college, and then we all met back up in New York City. One day he brought in the DVD of Dogfight. Um, and it was a movie that neither of us had ever heard of, um, had obviously had never seen. And um, he said, oh, the first time I saw this, I thought it could be a great musical. And we and just, like, just reading the description on the DVD, you know, on the back of it, um, it's like it, it immediately made us yeah. feel, oh my God, like what, what a great sort of setup or what a great premise. And it's so sort of emotional. And that to us was like, wow, that could be really interesting to, you know, mine material for a musical. So we. Yeah, we went and watched the went, film. Watched we both really fell, loved, in love with it. fell in love with it and fell in love with the performances of River Phoenix and Lily Taylor. And we were like, this is great. We'd love to do this. So Eddie Birdlace plays this. Uh, this young man who's about to go off to Vietnam. And it's in 1963, so they don't really know what Vietnam is. They think they're going over there as advisors to sort of stop communism from spreading. And it's no big deal. They'll be back in a couple months. And um, he's on his one night of leave uh, before they ship out. And his group of friends hosts this military tradition called a dogfight. Um, and they each try to, they each put in 50, 70, 75 bucks, they say, to see who can find the ugliest girl to bring to a party. And whoever does that wins the pot of money. And sort of running out of time, uh, Eddie is looking for girls. And in a diner. He runs, he, he into, runs a diner. into Yeah, he runs into a diner. And he meets this girl, Rose, who's sort of this, not unattractive, but sort of this awkward, plain, homely, shy, shy girl. And he is sort of desperate enough to try to make it work with her and, um, and ends up asking her out. And it's the first time that she's ever been asked out to a party or a date or really anything. And so she starts freaking out. And that's sort of the basic setup. Um, and, and then they go to this, this party, and she eventually finds out the truth. We're going to sing a song uh, called Pretty Funny, which is a song that Rose sings. It's actually at the end of Act One. It's and the first song we actually ended up writing Yeah, it's actually the, the first song we, song we wrote for the show. When she first got asked out on the date, she you know, had never been asked out before, so she goes up to her room, and she tries on every dress in her closet and like puts on earrings for the first time. She doesn't know how to put on makeup. It's this whole thing. and. Um, and she, when she finds out the truth of what happened, she comes back to her room and all these dresses that she was so excited about wearing, they're all sort of scattered around her room and the makeup, you know, and the, you know, lipstick is everywhere. And she sort of comes back to this mess that sort of, sort of represents where she is emotionally. And she just begins to clean it up and try to put her life back together. And she sings the song that we wrote in our musical called Pretty Funny. Close the window, draw the curtains Hide 
Like the bright light of the moon Hang the dresses, ugly dresses No one likes a room Wipe off all that stupid lipstick Return the earrings to their case Up won't make any difference. It's still the same old face. Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? Pretty funny. We've been writing together for a, a long time. A long actually. time, actually. Yeah. We we met as freshmen uh, in college um, at the University of Michigan, and our first collaboration was um, that I thought that I could uh, rap. I thought I, I could be a freestyle rapper. And Justin thought that he was a really good beatboxer. And the truth is that he's actually still an okay beatboxer. And I've realized that I'm a terrible rapper. So we were like, you know what? Let's, we've been, we wrote a couple songs our freshman year. This was our sophomore year. What if we just like started to write a show? Um, and so we gave ourselves like a, a deadline. And we booked this concert house. And we invited everybody to come to our show that we hadn't written yet. And then we ended up writing our first show in college called Edges, which and is a song was, cycle. That was in 2005. 2005, So that yeah. was seven, you know, seven plus years ago. So we've been working, working together for that long. And uh, our process, I think, changes every single song and show that we write. And day. It's really, I could probably say, like, it's, so, you know, obviously sometimes if it's like a clever or patter song or whatever, the lyrics tend to come first. If it's something that's more emotional, it's musical. But what we, what we usually, end up with is whoever has an idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? If some, if, if, like, if we're both just like, what are we going to do? So if somebody has an idea. If someone's inspired, then they so, yeah, sort of start it. Wherever the inspiration mm. comes, whether it's like, oh, it could be a beat like this, or he could say, it's kind of this kind of language or whatever it is. It's always just like, wherever the spark of the idea comes is how we start. The next song that we're going to sing is um, a song called Hometown Heroes Ticker Tape Parade. So uh, it takes place at the top of Act Two. And basically, Eddie, uh, when he brought Rose to the party, he sort of began to feel a little bit guilty because he realized that she was a person, you know? And, and I, I think started to realize, started to realize <laughs> that she was a person. Uh, so when in the top of Act Two, after she finds out and she runs away from the party, he's trying to arm himself with the kind of confidence about who he is and that it doesn't matter and that this is no big deal and he doesn't give a shit about anything that's just happened. And he's, you know, just trying to cover up his guilt. Yeah. And so he sort of leads his group of friends in this sort of anthem about how when they get back from this war, they are going to be heroes. And that's because their dads came back from World War II and their, you know, their grandfathers came back from World War I. And, and that's sort of the line that they know. Right. Um, yeah. And yeah, so they're sort of rearming themselves in this song. Blocked all afternoon A band on hand with a marching tune Your name is Whale The blimp's unveiled Your face on a big balloon Da 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 Watching busty blondes compete Ain't that sweet? Drawing claws like cats Ooh, and kids yeah. Let them fight to spend the night And stain up that nice white sheet At the hometown heroes Sticker tape parade a hometown heroes ticker tape parade. It's your time to shine. Time to get laid. And that's a that's a part of the song at least. Um, and, uh, and one thing that we sort of thought was exciting about writing that song was. Um, sort of obviously the built-in irony with the situation, which is these guys were like, we're going to go over there, we're going to serve a year or less and come home and get anything we want, get respect, everything. And obviously the tragic reality is that, is that that wasn't the case. Um, this is a song um, that's called First Date Last Night, and it's 
you know, it's interesting that we have a show that's like a love story, but there's not really any like love duets for the two people. And that's purposeful because we, we thought about that, but it's like these people are not in love. They've met this night and they've, there's a lot of tension between them. So I was like, we can't write a song that's like these two people falling in love and what that sounds like and what that feels like. So instead we sort of embraced that awkwardness and um, wrote this song instead. And it's, it's, it's after um, Eddie goes back to Rose and asks her back out to go on a real date. And she's like, are you kidding me? No way. But he eventually convinces her that, he, though clumsily, that he's earnest and that he really actually wants to take her to dinner. Um, and so she's very sort of um, suspicious about it, but she goes along with it. Um, and they sing this song sort of in their own heads as they, as they walk. Meet me halfway A touch and go of don't know what to say Do we talk? Don't expect too much, just walk Blank slate, blank stare yeah, you made her cry, why do you care? What to cold? Look at her, she looks so cold. And we go bum 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 Don't know why I decided to come. I mean, this is our first, this is the first musical we ever started writing. So we're really proud that we wrote a, like a book musical. We, can, we, we started off writing a song cycle and learning how to write a book musical is a really, really uh, intense. Uh, well, not that we've learned. We're, you no, know, we're just still like, very much learning. Yeah, but, but just like the process the of actually getting one it, out and. Of birthing and, something. Yeah. It's a book musical. It has just been really so eye opening and it's just, it's so different from just writing songs. I mean, the function of how those songs have to play. And even if you write something that seems theatrical when it gets on its feet or how it's functioning with you the rest of the know. show, I think that that's been the biggest thing that we've learned so, uh, like uh, about and try to you know, get better at. But the process of just getting it out has been. You know, we're proud of ourselves for birthing something that exists. Just the fact that it exists, I think. Yeah. I don't know if the material is any good or, or what, but just that we were able to accomplish it and stay friends with everyone and stay and, friends and with each, each other. other. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I think, a, an achievement that we're proud of. Let me take you out tonight. Let me take you out tonight. Let me take you out tonight. Let me take you out. Hey, 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 good looking. What's a guy to do? What's a guy to do? Say, 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 good looking. Search the whole world through. Search the whole world through. And I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you. Looking for you.